少林寺拳法 A Japanese martial art combining powerful explosive attacks and fluid techniques to effortlessly control an opponent. Its life or death skills, shrouded in mystery, use ancient knowledge of the body's hidden energy pathways. Shorin Jikempo trains both mind and body together, cultivating the whole person. This fascinating martial art continues to inspire people across the globe. Shorin's Kenpo is known for its lightning fast moves that flow together seamlessly to overwhelm any attacker. And some of its techniques can even be hard to catch with the naked eye. Today, we delve into Shorin's Kenpo's holistic system and some of its martial arts secrets. Looking out over Japan's inland sea lies Tadotsu in Kagawa Prefecture. The Shorinji Kenpo Federation has its headquarters here. Intensive training camps are held every spring and summer. The camps, running for over a month, bring together practitioners from across Japan and the world who come to deepen their skills and knowledge in the art. This time, over 1,200 participants are here, some from as far away as Spain, Germany, and Brazil. Shorin Jikenpo today has over 220,000 registered practitioners worldwide. <laughs> 55-year-old Paul King from the UK is a journalist who has spent his career working in challenging environments. He's attending the training camp in preparation for his fourth done exam. I grew up in the Middle East, and uh, I spent quite some time under combat situations, uh, being bombed, terrorist attacks. And I also grew up in, in London, which is kind of rough uh, area. I always had the feeling that there's something very wrong with the way people were treating each other, and the way that people were ignoring each other's suffering and ignoring each other's needs. Witnessing firsthand the desperation of people in conflict zones, Paul became aware of the need for both physical strength and compassion to survive with dignity. Shodin Jikempo has helped him develop both elements in balance, something he'd lacked in his younger days. I think if I was compared between then and now, it's a bit wild. I know you probably can't imagine that, but... Yeah. And now I feel that there's a lot of calm and a lot of awareness. A bronze statue of Shodin Jikempo's founder stands outside the headquarters. Doshin So established his system of martial arts based education in 1947. The eldest of three siblings, he was born in Okayama Prefecture in the west of Japan. Following the death of his father, the young Doshin So went to live with his grandfather in China, from whom he learned various Japanese martial arts. He would later learn Chinese martial arts too, diligently deepening his training over time. Witnessing the chaos and hopelessness in Japan at the end of the Second World War, he realized the need to encourage and energize young people if a healthy society was to be rebuilt. To achieve his aims, he systematized the Chinese and Japanese martial arts he had learned, 
placing the emphasis on a firm philosophical and spiritual basis. His new art, Shodin Jikempo, combined complementary methods. Techniques such as strikes and kicks comprised goho, or hard methods. While throws and locks encompass juho, or soft methods. Hard and soft merged to form a truly integrated martial arts system. For Shodin Jikempo's full power to be realized, a number of elements must come together. Precise knowledge of pressure points, controlling one's distance from an opponent, mastering the speed and angle of strikes, and the ability to read an opponent's weaknesses. With over 600 techniques to draw from, Shodin Jikempo requires long years to master. At the training camp, the day starts with cleaning. It's a ritual that carries a special meaning. And it's about getting in touch with yourself too. It's about settling down into the day and accepting that you are here and open instead of resisting cleaning. It's something that in Europe you wouldn't do. You wouldn't be on your knees cleaning the floor for someone else. Next comes a session of self-reflection, meditation and chanting. Letting trainees find focus before the tough physical training begins. Shodin Jikempo is not simply about learning techniques, but also about nurturing a spirit of cooperation. Goho methods of attack are practiced using a padded vest for protection allowing trainees to strike with full force. Next up is a session on juho, or soft methods. The theory behind the techniques is always explained in detail. Trainees repeat the techniques over and over until they become second nature.
Paul makes meticulous notes as he prepares for his exam. Remembering the Japanese names for the myriad techniques is especially challenging. After the session ends, the trainees stay on to practice what they've learned. The teachers respond to their enthusiasm, giving personal attention. Overseas students are given some extra classes to make sure no details have been lost in translation. Paul has great admiration for the teacher, Arai Sensei. If Paul passes his fourth Dan exam, he'll be qualified to open his own Shorinji Kempo branch in Holland, where he lives. He makes it look easy, and it's not quite as easy as he makes it look. But there's something about his energy, something about his voice, the tone of his voice as a teacher, that uh, for me, that's the ideal of. The, the dynamic you should have with students, how you should approach students. That's something that, when I think about becoming a teacher myself, that I, I can take from these sessions that to take home. And I don't know if you guys feel the same, that the tone of his voice, it's calming. There's something that very zen, dynamic zen about him. 